Hey guys, I'm LB. Last episode we played 15 and 18. Today we're gonna play 19 and maybe more of the Talos Principal Test Chambers by Flooper. Two cubes are needed. Well, there are actually four. Alright then, let's get started. Okay, we got our turrets. <laughs> we got a, uh... A buzzer. And we got a cube. We got... Ah. Uh, I guess that straightens out the angle so that you- so that if you activate one, you activate the other unless... Well, I mean, you can still get it- well, maybe you can't get it at an angle where you only activate this guy. But you can definitely get it at an angle where you only activate that guy. Okay, first of all, what is this actually doing? Okay, so that's just moving on its own, all day, all night. But we need it to be solid, because we've got a timer here. Let's see, so first things first, let's get started with this. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I guess we can't do that just yet. Okay, what does this do? Oh, we can actually walk up and get rid of these guys. Well then, that's something you can't do in Talos. <laughs> these guys sound cute at two times speed. <laughs> oh man, those things are adorable at two times speed. <coughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to bullets. Okay, we got our cube! Awesome. What would be... the best... next course of action? I guess we have to... do this, right? Let's... well actually both cubes are easy to respawn, so it doesn't matter which one I use. This guy... Oops, come on. Our faithful... Friendly companion, uh, companion laser cube. That we can't take with us, apparently. And eh, we can reach it from there. I hope. Actually, it might be better to respawn it, but whatever. Aha! That's what that's for. Now, we can get out without being interrupted. Alright. Oh, hmm. What does that do? I bet that opens this as an ore gate. That's... Interesting. There's a button there... for the exit. Ah, but we can leave this cube here... because we have that funnel permanently on. Oop, do not bump the cube! Thank you. So if we leave the cube here, right? Now we can get up here... ...and... ...use this to aim at it. Come on. Yep, and that is an alternate way to open that door. Excellent. You know what, actually, hang on. I think we want to have it aimed at the button. So let me- let me aim back at this guy again. Let's go readjust ourselves. Let's put this guy on the button, aiming at that. That should do it. Oh, 
Alright, then we aim. Oops, careful. There we go. That's what I wanted. The magic of ore gates. Alright, so then, take this. And we point it over here instead. Ta-da! Cool stuff. And, I remember to check the time so I don't do my outro. We have time for another map in this episode. So let's see, let me remove this from my queue, and we will go to the next map. Next test chamber. 20. Uh... Come on, game. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Okay, let's read- oops. This is the... We want to evaluate- there we go. Let's read the description for this guy. Come on. If I were a cube and do you remember? And yes, these are new high-tech fans. <laughs> high-tech fans. I guess because of the, uh... Light bridge. <laughs> so I guess this is the names of the puzzles from the original map- I mean, uh, original game, Talos Principle. I don't know if he's made any based on Road to Gehenna maps, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, so we've got our fan here and our fan over there. Whee! That is fun. Alright, and then this button... Let me guess, both cubes? Oh, come on. Yes, both cubes. And that's funny. Because when you respawn them, they, they- they alternate between positions because the ghosts interfere. They- so they- they alternate between these two different positions. Kind of interesting the way that works. Alright. So, if we do the laser to there, it'll- it'll block- it'll turn off the fan. At both ends. So why would we want to turn off the fans, exactly? Someone would like to enlighten me about that? I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with turning off the fan. Does it also at the same time turn this on? Because if so, I could understand. Let's let's try it. Let's just try it. See how things go. Wow. <laughs> that was, uh... Freaky. No, it did not turn this on. What turns that on, then? Why do I want to turn off the fans? I... genuinely do not understand. Okay, what's through here? I don't... see... Anything in specific. I don't even... I don't understand what I'm doing, really. Oh, I know what I'm doing! If I were a cube... Yes! I know exactly what this is. Alright, let me, uh... Let me go adjust... I don't remember the original map, but I know... Exactly what I'm doing. Uh, let's see here. I want to put this on this fan. Mid-air collision. Always a cool thing to do in a physics-enabled game. And of course, I mess it up by actually not landing on the faceplate. Let's go fix that. Hey, landed on the light bridge. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe at two times speed so I can get myself better aligned. Whee! Hey, both cubes landed in here. Awesome. So 
We've got that there and that there. That's an escape hatch. So we'll want to aim at this first. So that we can get back in. Then... We'll just aim at the other thing. Come on. Yep, that's turned on the other funnel. So now we can go back in. And then aim at this. Ta-da! It's like magic. And we still got time for more maps. Let's see. Let's view it in workshop and remove it from my queue. And next test chamber, which again, doesn't work. And I've even restarted my game, I'm not sure what the issue is with that. Here we go. Let's view and workshop. Fancy fans, inspired by a puzzle from the game. A cube high up, I think. This one's a lot harder than the original puzzle. I personally think that this is one of the most enjoyable maps so far. Alright, let's check it out. happened to Cape Johnson's, uh, subtitles? Or does that one just not have subtitles? I don't know. Okay, that's... What is that about, exactly? Is that, like, a height adjuster? Not entirely sure what that's supposed to do. We've got this, which activates this, and... square... somewhere. And all we can do right now is this. Oh. Why are there two lasers pointing at it? And a third? What?! Oh my goodness, this is... What is this madness? Alright, what does this do? That turns on the funnel. <laughs> and that just gets annoying real fast. Where go to? Oh! There's an upper. And the upper goes to there. Alright. And we have another cube! And there's a cube back there as well. And an open exit door, so... Basically... All we need to do is hit that. Everything else is pretty much optional-ish. Of course, it's probably necessary to solve the puzzle, but you know what I mean. Let's go figure out what the heck we're doing with, uh, this over here. Actually, let me use the one I can recall easily. Oh. Yep, I'll use this guy on... in here. <laughs> oh man, that is certainly one way to injure yourself. Alright, and then, what exactly... are we wanting to do? Oh, you know what, I feel real stupid. Duh, aim at that. Wait, what does X go to? 
that. Okay, so we don't need X yet. But... We probably... We probably do want... Ooh, no, don't do that to me, please. Let's just aim in that direction. Aim in that general direction. And what do you get? Bobbidi-boo, we get a new cube! That's what you get. That's what you get for aiming in the right direction. Then... Oh, that's what the other laser's for. Ta-da! Wait. Hmm, hmm. We need... We need this, though. How is any of this supposed to work? Do they expect me to levitate the cubes? Is that the idea? Oh! Right, it's self-powering. I didn't even catch on to that. It's an ore gate. Of course it's an ore gate! <laughs> Alright, so now we just aim down there. Okay, so this guy... Oh, that's- that's one way to drop a cube. And then we aim right... here. And we are done! And you know what? We might actually be able to do the next map, potentially. View and workshop. That took a while to load. That scared me. <laughs> and then... Let's see. Nope. Next test chamber is still broken. I still have no idea why. Let's see. Talos. There we go. Test 22. View and workshop. This test includes suggestions from the comment section under my maps. Enjoy! New features, drones or mines, key doors, and another submitted feature. Ooh, wonder how those are gonna be implemented. Let's find out. How would you implement moving drones? <laughs> I see how that works. So the idea is that the funnels activating and deactivating are the moving drone, and if you come into proximity of the funnel, it pushes you into the death grill and you die. That is clever, but as you can see, it's a pain to set up. Okay, we got a ball here. Can we actually... Oh, I think we can. But, I'm gonna do this at one time speed. Let's, uh, let's wait for this guy to pass. Oh my gosh, am I gonna make it? Ooh, yes. Okay, we're almost there. We can do this. Don't fail me now, shift key. Yes! We did it! Now we just have to go back. <laughs> Alright! Save! Oh, well that's one way to drop a ball. Man, this thing is just as scared as I am. Yes! Did it! Alright. Back to speedy mode. 
Oh! So that's... permanent. Do we need it anymore? Obviously not, because we cannot go back now. There is no going back. Yep. Alright. Let's see, what... exactly... This... and that? Alright, so we just gotta go over there. There's that. Nothing much to do in here. Is that really it? Huh. I... I guess so. Oh, that... It, that was the key! Yeah, so the ball was just the key, and that's why it disintegrated. It's a single use only. Cool. Well, guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike. It's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.